Hey GED students, Heba sent me this one on Facebook Messenger and she was doing the advanced level worksheet from Circle Formulas. So if you're looking at it like, oh my gosh, this looks hard. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the advanced looking practice from, uh, again, from the um, Circles lesson of the crash course. And uh, I didn't actually come up with this one on my own. What happened was when I was a GED instructor at a college, the GED testing service sent all of us instructors this document called Most Commonly Missed GED Math Problems. And so this style of problem was one of the ones on there. So a lot of students miss things like this. So just by practicing something like this, you give yourself really an edge up here. So let's take a look. It says, what is the perimeter of the shape pictured below? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a millimeter. So what are they asking me to do or to find? Well, they're asking me to find the perimeter of a shape. Now, your first instinct might be to hit the GED formula sheet. And I'd agree with you, great idea. But what you're gonna find is, you go to look in the section under perimeter and nowhere are you gonna see this shape. I mean, what is this shape? <laughs> is it, uh, Pac-Man, he's really hungry, his mouth is wide open. It's like Pac-Man uh, taking a rest. It's, well, you know, what is it? Well, it's a partial circle and we have circles on there, but we don't have partial circles. And so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go back to our definition of perimeter. We're not gonna be able to just straight up use a formula. So let's think about what perimeter means. Remember that perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape the distance around a shape. And formula or not, you can always find the perimeter by basically, if you just want the total distance around a shape, you could just add up the length of each of the sides. And that is going to be the strategy I use here since I don't have a formula for this particular shape. Now, this one is a little tricky uh, but here's a few things I do know. This is a circle and here is its center. So this little line here from here to here on this partial circle um, is a radius. And we know no matter where we go in a circle, the radiuses are the same. So if this piece here is six millimeters as it is labeled, then I also know that this piece here is six millimeters. So that's good, we've got partially around the shape, okay? But the problem is, and let's get a different color just so we can really highlight our problem here. We don't know how long this round piece is. Now I've got a great tip for you. In fact, you might wanna put this in your notes if you're taking notes. And that is whenever things get round, you can't just figure it out. You need a formula to be accurate. Either you have the formula memorized, how to get ac accurate answers, or you go look at the GED formula sheet. So you're saying, well, Kate, but there's no formula for the perimeter of a partial circle. And no, that's true. However, I can see what this is, that this is three quarters of a circle. So let's think about, we already know the perimeter. Oh, it's not a P equals formula, it's a C equals formula. So if you look under the perimeter section and you look at the circle, what you're gonna see is it's actually circumference of a circle. Now circumference is just a special name for the perimeter of a circle, so don't freak out, okay? So we're gonna find the circumference of this circle, okay? So it says the circumference of a circle, and you have a choice. You can use pi D or you can use two pi R. R stands for radius and this is my radius so that's the formula I'm going to use 2 pi r okay so the formula sheet says that the circumference is equal to 2 pi r but we don't have a full circle circumference what do we have we have a three quarter circle we have three quarters of a circle so you say well what am I going to do well I am going to take three quarters of the circumference of a circle. You say, how do I do that? Well, remember what of means. Of means multiply. I'm scaling the size of this. So I'm just gonna take 3 fourths times 2 pi r. You say, can I do that? You could do whatever you want. You got half, you times it by half. You got a quarter of a circle, you times it by a quarter. You got two thirds of a circle, you times it by two thirds. All right, so now let's do that. So if we're gonna do that, we have 3 fourths 
uh, times 2. Now times pi. It's on the GED formula sheet, uh, but pi is 3.14. Well, pi is approximately 3.14, but close enough for us. And then that radius there we see is 6. Okay, and it actually doesn't really matter what order I multiply in, so I'm just going to multiply this entire thing. So let's do it. 3 fourths, and you can type that into your calculator by typing 3 and then n over d and then 4. Now, depending on what mode you're in, you might need to press the right arrow to get out of that fraction before you keep typing. So right arrow and then times 2 times 3.14 times 6. And I get 28.26. Now, some people say, Kate, couldn't I just do the same thing by finding the circumference and then taking three quarters of it? Yeah, absolutely. You'd get the same place, okay? But what I just found out was that this red line, this round line around this circle is equal to 28.26. Now, I can't tell you how many students so proud of themselves, so excited that they remembered that they could take three quarters of, this, of the circumference, just stop right there and go, that's the answer, 28.26. But remember, I need to get all the way around my shape. I need the total distance around my shape. So I need that round piece, that 28.26, yes. But I also need this blue piece that was six millimeters and this blue piece that was six millimeters. If I want to find the total there, I'm going to need to add all those up. Okay, so for that total perimeter, I'm going to add all the sides, the six millimeter side, the other six millimeter side, and then that 28.26 side. And I get 6 plus 6 plus 28.26 equals 40.26. And let me not be the student who gets so excited they forget to check if there's any rounding directions. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a millimeter. Okay. Nearest tenth is one decimal place, so I'll cut it right there. After the tenths place, consider the next number, the one I'm about to throw away. It is big enough to matter. So I'll say that the perimeter of this shape is about 40.3 millimeters. Plain old regular millimeters perimeter is measuring how long a line is, so you use a regular millimeter, not a square millimeter. All right. Okay, I bet you're thinking, oh my gosh, that was challenging. Yeah, that's that's why it was on the um, most commonly missed GED problem. Students are missing this left and right because, yeah, you, you need to really have your reasoning skills highly developed to kind of figure out something like this. And the last thing I want to do is try to figure out something like this for the first time the day I'm taking my test. I mean, honestly, you're already nervous. Your brain's not working quite as well as it usually does because you, you get there's so much pressure on you. Um, and so trying to figure out something for the first time on a day like that, mm, you're, you're hurting your chances. So guys, practice. Go practice. Please do you and me a favor. Um, you go ahead and check out the video description for the link to my website. It'll be on this lesson page perimeter of a composite shape, and you could practice this a few times. Get really good at it. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.